welcome to another lecture of basic electrical engineering in this lecture we will discuss about uh, some components of the lt switch gear so this lecture is dedicated to uh, the concept of electrical installations uh, in this we will discuss about the switch gear and we will also discuss about uh, the various switch gear devices such as sfu mcb elcb rcd and nccb so uh, as far as switch gear is concerned a switch gear is basically a device or an apparatus which is used to uh, protect the low voltage circuitry from a high voltage circuit or you can say it is a device or an apparatus which is used to uh, disconnect uh, the two circuits a high voltage circuit and a low voltage circuit when there is any kind of surge any kind of transient uh, any kind of uh, uh, over current or over voltage occur in the uh, main supply so along so uh, uh, switch gear basically uh, along with the, the protection of uh, the circuits or uh, various other electrical appliances it is also used for uh, the uh, controlling means it is a controlled device it it uh, acts in a control manner right though there is uh, an option for the manual control uh, but still there are provisions in switch gear for the automatic control automatic control here means the automatic tripping of the uh, switch gear device uh, switch gear is basically a generic term which is used for uh, the various other types of uh, 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 devices which are used to protect the circuits in this we have circuit breakers we have switches we have uh, fuse we have isolators then we have contactors and then like that we have some other types of circuit breakers also which uh, operate on uh, the uh, current or voltage now uh, if we have to classify switch gear so switch gear is classified on the basis of the uh, voltage level on which they are operating like we have a low voltage switch gear which operates uh, on a voltage up to 1 kilo volt then we have a medium voltage switch gear which operates uh, on a voltage ranging from 3 kilo volt to 33 kilo volt and then we have high voltage switch gear which operate on a voltage above 33 kilo volt in this particular uh, chapter in this particular unit we will discuss about the low voltage switch gear only these volt these switch gears are used to protect the high volt uh, the low voltage circuit from a high voltage circuit any switch gear should possess these following features which are mentioned here like it should be reliable reliable because see this uh, is a, a protecting device which protects the circuit from any kind of transient any kind of over voltage or over current that occur in the main supply it is similar to a fuse like in fuse what happens when the current exceeds the prescribed limit then what happens because of the i square r effect the wire which is used in fuse melts down because its melting point is reached due to the heat generated because of the current excessive current right and what happens the electrical circuit means which is connecting to the electrical appliances like our TV, refrigerator, washing machine, any other electrical appliance at home, this circuit gets disconnected from the main supply. So in this way, this fuse, when melts down because of any overcurrent, protects the electrical appliances from the surge, right? So a switch gear, any kind of switch gear, whether it is a circuit breaker, whether it is a switch or fuse or any other type of fuse, right? 
it should be completely reliable because if it is not so then there may be some hazardous effect can occur in the system which may lead to the death also of the operator right <clears throat> they should operate quickly they should have a fast response it is not that uh they should have a slow response they should have fast response as soon as any transient appears in the supply then uh a uh, switch gear should operate quickly it should trip it should uh, disconnect the low voltage circuit from a high voltage circuit as soon as possible then there should be some provision to the manual control if due to any reason the automatic control does not work if automatic tripping of the circuit breaker does not happen in that case there should be a provision that it can be tripped the disconnection can be made through manual control right and it should be cost effective a circuit breaker or a switch gear should be cost effective it should have very low uh, initial cost or and very low maintenance cost running cost uh these are the categories of the uh, switch gears we have low voltage switch gears we have medium voltage switch gear we have high voltage switch gear in the previous slide we have already discussed their ratings and the voltage range to which they operate in this uh the categories have been mentioned their types have been mentioned like a low voltage switch gear is of uh, these are the you know types of low voltage switch gear like oil circuit breakers means a circuit breaker in general right circuit breaker further uh, has the uh, low medium and high voltage range right uh, in this we have fuses like hrc fuse isolators are there then we have rccb and all like that we have mcb miniature circuit breakers mccb so these are the low voltage switch gears so these you will find uh, installed at your home also right uh, in the distribution box of electricity uh, then we have medium switch uh, voltage switch gear in medium voltage switch gear we have these are categories minimum oil circuit breakers bulk oil circuit breakers air magnetic sf6 gas insulated and vacuum and gas insulated switch gear so these are the medium voltage switch gear which operate on a voltage ranging from 3 kV to 33 kV and then we have the high voltage switch gear right so this is a section where some switch gear are installed this is a panel you will find this panel installed uh, in any organization from where the electricity is being electricity is being distributed or it is also uh, it can also be seen in the industries right near the distribution point so this is how a panel looks like so it has all the switch gears it has uh, every uh, you know protecting element installed here which is used to protect the electrical system so electrical machineries or appliances now let us come to the component of lt switch gear like right? so we are discussing about the low voltage switch gears here right so <clears throat> the first category in that is a fuse so fuse is the oldest way of uh, protecting the electrical uh, systems so it is the cheapest method or a very cost effective method which is used to protect the uh, electrical appliances electrical circuits from any kind of over current uh, that occur in the main supply now these are the symbols which are used for the fuse these are the symbols which are based on the international standards of electricity so all these symbols are used right uh, fuses are of the two types basically which is uh, an ac fuse then dc fuse is there then we have in ac fuse we have high voltage fuse and low voltage fuse right these are the categories uh, this is a circuit protection device right this is always installed uh like if you have let us say an ac supply right and then you have a switch here and then you have some electrical appliance let us say this is a bulb 
and then we have a fuse so fuse is always installed in series with the so this is the fuse right so always installed in series with the circuit so when you close the switch here and the current starts flowing in this particular circuit uh, if let us say the current exceeds its uh, limit because this fuse has a wire inside it and this wire has a melting point okay so if the current increases uh, beyond the permissible value or specified value so because of the i square r effect because of this i square r effect this is the heat energy is generated the heat is generated and this heat increases the temperature and what happens when the temperature uh, reaches to the melting point of the wire this uh, wire breaks it melts down and it uh, disconnect this appliance which is nothing but lamp let us say in this case we have taken lamp for an example so this uh, the melting of this particular wire the melting of this particular wire will break uh, will disconnect the electrical appliance from the main supply right and in this way this fuse uh, uh, protects the lamp right so in this way the fuse is used to protect the electrical circuits there are certain advantages of fuse like it is cost effective it is very uh, cost effective very cheap right it has very low cost and it generally need no maintenance or very low maintenance right uh, it is low complex device it has very less complexity and it has an automatic operation now how it is it has an automatic operation as i said uh, as soon as the temperature reaches to the melting point of the wire the wire melts down automatically we don't have to um, break it manually okay so the concept is that right so it trips the circuit automatically from the main supply and disconnect the lamp from the main supply and hence protect the lamp from the transients right and when it trips the circuit uh, uh, and it protects the lamp or disconnect the lamp from the main supply it doesn't make any noise right there is no smoke no flame that uh, appears right so this is safe in that way also so it doesn't cause any kind of uh, mishappening right then it has certain disadvantages so disadvantages are uh, because when the wire melts down and you have to re, uh, you know rewire the fuse so it takes some time right either you have to rewire the fuse or you need to replace the fuse as it is because that is of no use then once the fuse is uh, not working it, it its wire is melted down it is of no use you need to replace it with a new fuse or you need to wire rewire the fuse if it is a rewireable fuse right so these are the advantages and disadvantages of fuses now uh, the fuses are basically categorized like i as mentioned earlier also on the basis of low voltage fuse and high voltage fuse we have uh, ac fuses and then we have dc fuses also right there is one more category of on which the fuses are categorized this is on the basis of their usage right operation if it is one time operation or multiple operation like this fuse if you see this is a cartridge fuse this is this has a one time operation right so once you can see a wire here in this this wire when this wire melts down so what happens uh, this fuse is of no use right so we need to replace a uh, few uh, replace the fuse basically the new fuse right so these cartridge fuses are like that only then we have rewireable fuses so rewireable fuses are these fuses so uh, in old days basically these type of fuses were used uh, as a circuit circuit protecting devices so in this you can see these are the contacts here these are the contacts these metallic contacts are there this is the base and and here we connect a wire so the wire which is connected has a melting point and the same 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 concept is used so in this also the wire is melt wire melts down as soon as the temperature of the wire reaches to its melting point and it disconnects the uh, circuit from the high voltage circuit 
then we have these switch fuse unit so like here we it is a solo fuse these are the solo fuse all these are solo fuse this is this is hrc fuse it is known as high rupturing capacity fuse so it is used in high rating circuits basically so uh, this cartridge fuse is used in low power rating circuits right then we have switch fuse unit switch fuse unit is basically a combination of fuse and the switch so as you can see here in this box right in this box we have the rewirable fuses uh, installed in this box and then we have a switch also this handle this lever is used as a switch this is an operating handle basically so there are two modes of operating this particular unit one is um, uh there is an automatic uh, operation like if the temperature of the wire which is here in this particular fuse reaches to the melting point so it automatically melts down and disconnects the supply disconnects the appliances from the main supply however if it doesn't happen we have the provision to disconnect it manually also so we uh move this lever in such a way that the connections which are made here are open and we have the disconnection of the uh, appliances from the main supply so here all the points have been indicated like these are the fuses then these are here we have the here these here we provide the outgoing contacts right and then here we provide the supply on the lower side right then this is an operating handle right and this is the cover so it has a cover it looks like this right so you must have seen this uh, installed around you at your home even right or any in your industry right so symbolically nsf you can be represented with this block it has a fuse and a switch both so combination of fuse and switch is a switch fuse unit so it may be of three types it may have a double pole iron clad switch like here you can see double pole which is used in single phase basically then it may have a three phase uh, or sfu right in that we have triple pole iron clad switch and then triple pole with neutral means a four wire and a three wire connection right uh, in case of three phase so now then we have circuit breaker circuit breakers are also the category of uh, switch gears right these are lt switch gears so circuit breaker you must have seen at your home it is installed on the distribution point right so as you can see here all these types of circuit breakers are shown so a uh, circuit breaker is also a circuit protecting device and it can operate it can work manually as well as uh, it can have a uh, an, an automatic operation right we can manually operate it or it may operate automatically the purpose is only to disconnect disconnect the appliances electrical appliances from the main supply this is the purpose this is the objective of this now there are two diagrams shown here under normal conditions and then under faulty conditions so these two diagrams depict the uh, working principle of circuit breakers so under normal conditions this is how a circuit breaker work okay so we have a current transformer here this is current transformer right so current transformer is there and then we have a tripping coil then this is the main line this one is the main line where the you know we have the main supply right then we have a battery which is used uh, to uh, actuate or to energize the tripping circuit right and then we have a relay here right now what happens under normal condition uh, you can see here this is the contact this is the circuit breaker the so contacts are made here right so contacts are made and the current would be flowing in this particular line so in case any overcurrent occurs in in case any transient occurs in the current or current increases uh, beyond its uh, permissible value for long duration so this current transformer senses that change in the current and as soon as it senses that change in the current what happens it energizes this particular coil or relay basically this is a relay and when this relay is energized it forces 
to move this switch and make this particular circuit as you can see here in the faulty conditions right so this circuit is made so this circuit is made now when this circuit is made the current starts flowing in this particular circuit like this and as soon as the current starts flowing in this stripping circuit so this stripping coil gets energized and when this stripping coil gets energized it breaks this connection this one so you can see here it breaks the connection so this is how the electrical appliance like uh, on this side let us say we have connected the load right and from here the supply is coming so we can see that the load has been disconnected from the main supply and in this way the load is protected from any kind of transient any kind of uh, uh, over current that occurs in the main supply right so it has a very simple operation so everything is uh, happening in on the basis of magnetic induction so there are two coils stripping coil and the uh, relay so relay gets energized when current transformer senses any change in the current any increase in the current and uh, it makes this circuit here this one and the current starts flowing in this path and in this loop right and this stripping coil gets energized and it breaks the it removes the connections from here right so this is how it works so uh, circuit breakers have certain advantages over fuse like circuit breakers can be used uh, the same circuit breaker can be used multiple times it has an automatic operation so as soon as any overcurrent occurs in the system so it trips right it uh, breaks the circuit right so it has a fast response as compared to fuse and it is more reliable more sensitive and it can operate multiple times we can uh, we don't have to replace the circuit breakers every time right we simply have to reset them they have and re a reset option provision there so circuit breakers are of following types which are used uh, in low voltage applications like we have miniature circuit breakers we have molded miniature circuit breakers we have earth leakage circuit breakers and we have residual current circuit breakers so let us come to miniature circuit breakers so mcbs you must have seen mcbs installed at your home at the distribution point so this is what we have inside an mcb a miniature circuit breaker so uh, we have the power terminals here right where the main supply is connected then we have the terminals here where the load is connected okay then we have a bimetallic strip here as you can see this is the bimetallic strip then this is a coil uh, which uh, is used to which when energizes is used to break the circuit then this is the moving contact here this one is the moving contact so it is connected to this particular point you can see here right so it is connected here okay and then it is connected to this so here we connect the load here the load is connected and here the supply is connected right so supply is connected here load is connected here and this is an operating lever so this is used to disconnect the circuits manually if uh, we find that something uh, you know uh, wrong is happening okay so which may lead to some hazardous effect so if in case the mcb doesn't trip automatically which generally does not happen right but if it happens that mcb is not uh, tripping automatically so we can trip it manually by using this particular lever right so here we have this tripping coil right and then we have all these parts are there right so as you can see the current will flow in this way under normal conditions the current flows in this particular way through the mcb so here we have the load and here we connect this end to the supply right supply and load so this is how the current flows so as soon as like here symbolically you can understand from these two diagrams so as soon as any faulty condition occurs any over current or over voltage occurs so what happens this is up you can see here you can see this is a plunger which is connected to this lever like we show here like you can see in this part okay 
so the current will come it will come like this and it will flow it will come like this it will come to this latch point this is a latch point this is a plunger it is connected to the plunger then through this tripping coil the current will go to this and it is connected here you can see uh, you can see here this moving uh, contact is connecting to this right so the current will come to this end and it will go to load right so what happens under any faulty condition what will happen um, that when the fault this faulty condition exists for long duration for example the current is uh, is exceeding uh, from the uh, threshold value and it exists for long duration that maximum current exists for long duration so this bimetallic strip gets heated up and when this heat, this bimetallic strip gets heated up right so it will uh, you know lead to the uh, in it is connected in such a way that it will lead to the uh, latching or unlatching of this particular part from the plunger so this particular coil gets energized and it will you know uh, disconnect these two points here are disconnected from one another so as soon as these two points are disconnected what will happen so we have an open circuit here right so and along with that this moving point also is disconnected from this particular connection here right so from both points we have the disconnection of the parts so this happens under the faulty condition like here the two diagrams are shown symbolically so this one is under normal condition then we have under faulty conditions like so this is a bimetallic strip this is the symbolic representation this is a magnetic element which is nothing but the uh, this one this 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 part is the magnetic part here right so uh, we have the contacts here you can see this is the line the supply is coming from this side and here we connect the load right load is connected the current will flow in this way so this is how the current will be flowing now as soon as any faulty condition occurs what will happen we have a latch here you can see right a tripping bar and then contact so we have a tripping coil here and then this is a bimetallic strip a latch is there right so uh, when this biometallic element gets heated up, what will happen? It will hit this particular, this one, it will hit it. So when it will hit it, this latch is, you know, disconnected from this contact here. It opens up, this latch opens up. And as soon as this latch opens up, these contacts here, these moving contacts also are open right so we have disconnection of the line from the load so this is how the circuit breaker or miniature circuit breaker works then what is the difference between mcb and mccb mcb and mccb as far as their operation is concerned are same but still there are certain differences and these differences are listed here like uh, MCB protects the electrical appliances from the overloaded current or overcurrent, right? However, MCCB protects the equipment or appliances from the over temperature or any kind of stray spurious current. So overload current can occur due to the overload condition due to the short circuit condition, right? However, this condition can occur because of any kind of transient that comes in the main supply. And the abbreviation for MCB is miniature circuit breaker. Then here, this is the molded case circuit breaker, right? Then uh, we have, uh, uh, this is available in single pole, two pole, three pole version. Then it is available in single two, three and four pole versions. Uh, the rating is quite high. And here the rating is more than this one. Uh, we can cannot operate an MCB through remote location, which is not possible in case of MCB. It either operates automatically or manually, but an MCCB can be operated through remote location, right? Though those two features are always there, automatic operation, manual operation. However, along with that, we have the remote operation of MCCB. Then ratings are quite different from one another, right? Uh, MCB is used for the 
low voltage application generally in like at home you'll find its use at home right uh, however mccb is not used at home or domestic application it is generally used in industrial applications or any uh, application where we are uh, generating transmitting and distributing the heavy electricity high voltage and high current right so domestic purpose and then commercial purpose usage is there right then we have residual current circuit breaker this is also a kind of switch gear and it is the category of circuit breakers so residual current circuit breaker uh, is uh, more effective more efficient than mcbs and mccbs however it finds its application in uh, more sophisticated uh, areas like uh, any industry or transmission or generation right it is also used to protect the uh, you know electrical appliances electrical machineries or electrical systems from any kind of uh, faulty conditions that occur in the line line means supply so the working principle has been depicted through this particular diagram here so we have a sensing coil right this is the sensing coil the, the concept is based on the transformer principle right we have the primary coil here then we have uh, you know this is the secondary coil which is connected to the relay which trips the uh, so relay is connected to this particular switch here you can see so in case of any surge in the current that occurs in the supply so for example the current is flowing here like this okay so the incoming current and the outgoing current should be same so if there is any kind of difference in the incoming and outgoing current so that is basically sensed by this particular uh, you know uh, transformer right so when this transformer senses that change in the current incoming current and outgoing current so due to the electromagnetic induction this coil gets energized which is the sensing coil which is acting as the secondary uh, sorry uh, a sensing coil right so we have primary coil and secondary coil here so it is acting as a sensing coil right so as soon as this coil energizes so it sends a signal to the relay that uh, the current is different so either the current is increasing or decreasing so this is not same right so now in that case what will happen relay will take it as a command that it needs to trip the or disconnect the uh, supply from the load right so and hence the relay will take action and it will disconnect the supply from the load and hence the load is protected from any kind of transient from any kind of overcurrent that is there in the main supply rccb is also known as current operated elcb elcb is earth leakage circuit breaker which we will discuss in the next slide or it is also known as residual current device rcd both name are used for rccb and this is the theory which is which i have just discussed then we have the earth leakage circuit breaker earth leakage circuit breaker is uh, also a circuit breaker which is a voltage operated elcb rccb is operated through the current that is in this case uh, the mm, transformer which is known as toroidal transformer it senses the change in the current and energizes this relay here and it trips the connection however this elcb is operated on voltage so uh, it senses the voltage drop here right so if any voltage drop occurs across this coil so we have a disconnection provided here we have a you know switch provided here which disconnects automatically as soon as any voltage difference is sensed at these two ends so this end is e let us say and this is an f some points are there and this is the neutral point this is the load point this is a neutral point and this is a load point from here we are giving supply here the load is connected so uh, if any kind of uh, voltage drop occurs across this tripping coil so the 
uh, tripping coil will energize and it will trip this circuit here so you can see here it is connected to the switches here right so it will disconnect the load from the supply so the voltage draw will only occur when some current will flow through this particular circuit right it will only occur when some current will flow through this particular circuit right that is why it is known as earth rk circuit breaker so when the current flows now this current will flow only when there is any kind of uh, leakage of the current that occurs in the system so that current is flowing in this particular circuit and hence we'll have a voltage drop here it is sensed by the tripping coil it will disconnect the load from the supply right so uh, this is the whole story right here which is mentioned here so elcb has certain advantages that that uh, uh, over rccb because rccb is also an elcb but it is current operated elcb so the advantage over rccb is that it is uh, you know uh, less sensitive to the uh, faulty conditions right over rccb so rccb is quite highly sensitive like uh, we also do not need a frequent tripping of the circuit unnecessarily right so there is no unnecessary tripping of the circuit in case of elcb but that can happen in rccb unnecessary tripping right because rccb is quite sensitive than elcb but elcb has significant disadvantages like uh, in case some person is like if a, a human being is like uh, you know it gets shock from this line right so what will happen this trip coil will not be able to sense this condition here right so this is a disadvantage of elcb in case of thunderstorms in case of uh, lightning elcb cannot detect the fault current right which passes through the this particular circuit right so it cannot uh, sense that fault current right uh, it cannot sense the leakage of the current in case of any if if a leakage happens in any water heater or immersion heater so it cannot sense that also so that is why elcb is not quite safe to be used so rccb is preferred over elcb ignoring its high sensitivity right so in this lecture we have discussed the various kinds of uh, switch gears so we have fuses we have circuit breakers in this category and and all these are the circuit protecting devices which are used to protect the uh, low voltage circuits from the high voltage circuits right and this is it for today's lecture. Thank you so much.